Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video featuring one of the worst camera mounts uh, that I've ever done. This is my phone bounced on top of my water bottle uh, so I can get this nice top-down view. And today we are going to be talking about new screws. Uh, I mentioned this in a video or a comment recently that I'm switching my default screw on all of my blaster designs to a new one that's a lot better and uh, some people asked for more information, so I'm just gonna make a video about it. Uh, these screws are number four thread forming coarse thread screws. These, my old default, are 4-40 machine screws. Now, these 440 screws are what Captain Slug had been using for years and years and years before uh, I began working on blasters. And because I learned a lot of stuff from him and I began my blaster design career building off of his prior work, with his permission obviously, um, I used the same screws. And these were readily available in all of the blaster shops and stuff, and so I just used them. But these are not really meant for threading into plastic, and they're not particularly great at it. So if I take a scrap old print here, we just have a hole here for a screw. You can see that this is going to take quite a long time to fully thread into the hole. Because the threads on this are super coarse and they're meant to go into like a nut or something, some sort of metal threaded hole. So you can see there, that's fully threaded in. And to take it all the way out, it's going to be even more unthreading. So you take a long time to thread in and out of holes. And also, because the threads are so fine, so small, they are very easy to accidentally rip out of a hole or uh, over tighten and the threads in the plastic that you formed by threading in the screw the first time, those threads will completely break off and then the screw will just spin freely in the plastic hole, which is bad. And that's been a problem for years and years and years in uh, the sort of hobby 3D printed blaster kits that we've been uh, making. Not just me, but a bunch of creators that use these screws. So I'm doing something about it. Uh, these screws were recommended to me by a buddy of mine. And these are coarser. Oh, let's see if I can get my phone to... There we go. These are coarser thread screws are specifically made for threading into plastic. Now these are the same length uh, from the top of the head to the bottom of the thread, same length as the old screws, and the printed holes that fit these are the exact same as these old screws. So these are a drop-in replacement for these old ones, uh, and these are better in pretty much every way. Now these are a tiny bit more expensive, a few cents. Uh, per screw, but I think that it's well, well worth that little extra cost to just be able to go, hmm, I want to thread this into the hole. Done. And then unthread it out of the hole. It's just four turns. And then it's done. It's so nice. Now, that seems like a relatively, you know, trivial time improvement, but multiplied by 50 or 60 screws across a blaster, that is like so much saved time just being able to do that. And it's not just a time improvement for these screws that's an improvement. Uh, it also has a bunch of other improvements compared to the old ones. Uh, these coarse number four screws have a much bigger thread, obviously, and that makes it a lot better for grabbing onto a print. So you can thread this into the hole, and it is very hard to accidentally rip it out um, by like like having another print attached to this and then pulling on that one. These are a lot better structurally. As well, these are a lot better uh, for accidentally over-tightening. You're not as likely to accidentally fully strip out the plastic hole. So it's a lot better uh, for putting them in uh, and it's a lot, I don't know, safer isn't necessarily the word, but a lot better for um, not accidentally stripping out the holes. 
as well, these are a lot better for taking out of prints and then putting back into them. Now that shouldn't be a permanent solution on any blaster. You should use like a thumb screw or something or, or a M3 screw into a nut if you're going to be constantly tightening and loosening something. But if you want to, you know, have a grip that you preferably would just assemble once, but you know, you might want to swap out a spring or something in there um, or something got misaligned or broken or something, you want to unthread it and thread it back in, these are going to be able to do that a lot better and a lot more, a lot more repeated times uh, than the bold screws. So if I just hold this up to the hole and then thread backwards a little bit, the thread will kind of pop into place and I can just go in and it won't cause issues. There it is. And I can just thread in. It's very nice. And I can just go back out again. And then there you go. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and these screws, like I said, the print is completely the same. So this is a drop-in replacement for all of my previous blasters. And all of that time savings and improvements on this multiplied across, you know, 50 screws for a slab or something is going to be massive improvements to just the quality of uh, user interaction, I guess, uh, while assembling a blaster. It's so good. I love it. So, at least on the Out of Darts shop, um, all of my previous blaster kits that use 440 screws, the old ones, uh, are going to be swapped over to use these new ones. And they're awesome. Now, as well as just going into prints a lot better, uh, these are also a lot better for stuff like holding in the rams on a Calibern or a Talonclaw, where you don't need to change the files or anything to make it more sturdy, because on a Calibern or a Talonclaw, the screw just kind of goes into the side of the piece and kind of squeezes it between a bunch of screws. Um, and because the old screws are a lot finer threads, it's not as good as a clamp. These new ones are really good for clamping um, compared to these old ones, where if you used these on a Calvern or a Talonclaw ram, drove them into the ram base, these would hold a lot better. So you're not gonna have these rams falling out of your Calvern or your Talonclaw as much anymore with these new ones, which is awesome. And these are also good for stuff like Alchemist um, and all that stuff. And then Foxbat, my newest uh, magazine in grip pistol blaster, is going to be shipping by default with these uh, screws, these new ones. It's going to be the first blaster of my, I guess, uh, product line that is going to use these from the start, straight from the factory. It's going to use these new ones, which is awesome. So... I think that's all that I've got to say about these. They're great, and you should be at least mildly excited uh, that these are going to become a sort of new norm in the hobby kit, I don't know, uh, market. These are really nice. They'll make your life easier, and they'll make your blaster stronger. So uh, I'll leave a link to these exact screws in uh, the video description. I'll like link a McMaster page for them so you can see what they are. If you want to see I don't know, more specs about them, how long they are, the exact part number, all that stuff. Uh, I'll link to the McMaster page for these in the video description and these old ones too, I guess. And uh, yeah, you can get more information there. But I think that's pretty much all that I've got. These are great. And uh, yeah, your printed holes. Uh, will be a lot better now that I can use these. All right. I'll see you guys later. I can't do my normal kind of wave to camera that I do. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.